y'all oh hey y'all so i'm back with another video i know it's been a couple of days bear with me okay my like my computer is acting real funky like when i try to upload a video if you get what i'm saying but we gonna blow past all that so today as you can see i have box braids and well my version of box braids in my hair um and a splash of purple if you can see so i'm actually gonna do what I call a little box braid tutorial. There's a million tutorials out there, but I figured why not give y'all one since I seen y'all in a minute. So the hair that I'm gonna use, I'm actually gonna go and get. Be right back. Or CJ, would you mind passing me that hair that's on the computer? I'd mind a great deal. Actually, I got things to do. Oh well. Um. So I went to my local hair store and I got the black hair, but it's the at their store it was 99 cents and it changed to a dollar 99 so I got black hair and then really to add a little pop of color I got purple hair because I'm like I ain't touched purple in a minute purple deserves some love so what I'm gonna do y'all is just show y'all how I install my own box braids I plan on keeping these in for at least eight weeks maybe longer depending on my hair um so I know that y'all probably, if you don't follow me on Facebook, Instagram, or Snap, um, I had distressed faux locks in my hair. And so long story short, I went to sleep one night and uh, long story short, when I woke up it was a mess. Um, I forgot to put my bonnet on and so I just took it all out. It was just no point um, because it was slightly tangled. Did not catch a picture because I just, did, I felt slightly embarrassed. Don't tiss tiss me. Mm -hmm. But anyways, they were cute while they lasted. And they lasted for what I need them to last for. Um, so, and then I do have a surprise coming your way. It's a new intro. Um, I had to do the photo shoot either this, no, it was not this past Sunday. It was the Sunday before that one. And my dear friend Carrie, thank you Care Bear, you're awesome. She did the photos for free, which was so sweet of her. Thank you, I appreciate it. Um, so, and she did beautiful in the photos. Now, I will tell y'all this, I am not a model, so I don't know how to really take pictures like that. So we, we were struggling, I was struggling a little bit. But you know, I may do, you know, we'll do what I had, just saying, you know. Um, but yeah, that's going to be coming very soon. And then I um, also with that video, I'm going to have a couple of other things attached to that video. Because I have some friends I used to go to high school with and I'm so proud of them. They have been doing big and big, big and better things. So I'm just like all for it. But I'm going to get right into this tutorial. So what I have been putting on my scalp, because when I do braids, I like to put something like grease or oil on it. I do baby don't be bald. I'm bad out if you can't notice and then to kind of slick my hair down because I know my like my ends need to be trimmed I actually went and purchased this but this is the extra hold I normally don't get the extra hold but this is what this is and we still got a full jar going and then I have a Denman brush and some clips so I'm just gonna go ahead and handle this real quick you know so what I'm actually gonna do and if you see I took two braids out just to show you guys give you a demonstration of what I'm gonna do and what I normally do, y'all, is I normally just put the grease on my hair. Not any particular way, just kind of rub it in. And yes, y'all, my hair is getting decently longer. I haven't been doing everything properly, but it's okay. And I'm just going to take some jam and go ahead and put it on my hair as well. And before it really, really sets in and dries... I like to go ahead and take my Denman brush and brush it through just a little bit. I hope y'all can see this. Because see, you're supposed to be my backup man today. So, and what I normally do before I do my braids, I normally do go ahead and braid this, like braid the actual hair itself. So I'm just going to take this clip and clip it like that so that the other hair won't be in my way. Am I in camera view, babe? Mm-hmm. Okay. Is it too too close? Mm. Or is it okay? The main thing I just see is like this part of your hand and the hair. Oh. And stuff. 
but can you do it to the point where I'm sorry, y'all. We we work. If you gotta back the thing up, back it up. Do it. Now, like you're all in it. That's all they can see of your hair and stuff. Just the ending part. Like where you, whatever you do with your hands and oh, stuff. Oh, like, so but can they see the hair? My yes, hair. Yes. For okay. the most part, until you start grabbing like handfuls and stuff, then it's just the ends of it. Oh, that's okay. So y'all. I normally go ahead and braid my natural hair up before I actually put the fake hair in, so that's what I'm going to do. So I braid it to a certain point, and then I just kind of let it go. And now I'm going to go ahead and take my extension hair. Can you pass me my extension hair? And I'm going to go ahead and connect it to my actual hair. You're going to see the whole process. There's a million and one videos on this, by the way, out there on the YouTube this land. Hair this. That hair. That hair. The hair that's laying on the computer. Oh. That hair I'm pointing in the general direction. Don't sorry, tell me that. Sorry. 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 Okay. So I'm going to take the purple hair first, y'all. And be kind of careful with it because I just kind of threw it to, I don't know, I just kind of threw it in the little headband. But this is the purple hair. So I'm going to take a little bit of the purple hair. Just a squig. Don't need that much. Not even that much. I hope y'all can see this. So, this is how much hair I'm going to take. Can you pass me the hair that I had taken out of my head? That piece, and then put the black. I'm sorry. No attitude today. But, can, you, can I have other hair, please? He's, he's helping me, y'all. He's doing a beautiful job. See, come on now. You play it too much. Alright, so this is like the thicker piece. So I'm just going to take a little bit from this. And I'm actually probably just going to add this to the other side. Can you hold that, please? Thank you, sir. And I'm just going to put this hair with this hair. And so I'm going to turn around so y'all can see what I'm doing. And so y'all see the braid, the piece that I braided up? So what I do is I use my actual middle hair as kind of like my base. And I just kind of go ahead and just start braiding it. Better yet, plaiting it in a way. And so... I plied it to a certain point, y'all. Now, here's a little tip. Because I kind of got this off of another YouTuber, and I will put her on the thing. I take a little bit of jam, and I just kind of touch my actual real hair with it. Because I don't want all the kinks or curls to pop out. Now, y'all, I am not the best with the tucking method. Okay? So don't be like, oh, she did this. I'm not the I'm not the best. Don't be complaining in the comments, okay? So what I do is if you can see it, I blended all of my actual hair. CJ's moving the camera, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> Trying to give y'all a better view of what I'm doing. And I braid really, really slow because I like a neat braid. I don't like a sloppy braid. And so I'm just braiding the hair. And honestly, yeah, y'all, I'm using <laughs> the old braided hair that I had in my hair the first time around just for this tutorial because I didn't want to waste any hair. So this is what I'm doing. And honestly, there's really no purple back there, but I kind of want to splash a purple. So I'm going to slowly turn around a little bit. Sorry, all the camera's moving. CJ's adjusting it for me while I'm trying to get this together. And as you can see, I do like a nice, tight, tight, tough braid. I do not play about my braiding. And I'm just going to keep braiding it all the way down until... And y'all, don't be afraid. If you do get like a smaller piece on one end, take some hair from the other, other strands and just keep braiding. Now... What I do is I try to make it look as uniform as possible. So, I'm just going to keep braiding. And I look down at my braid to make sure that my that the braid looks neat. And, yeah. So, this hairstyle, I like. I do. Because I did it myself. Um, and as y'all can see, I do have pop a pop of purple throughout the braid which I love and I'm just going to keep braiding it all the way down until I get it to where I can't braid the hair no more so 
this. Alright, and this little piece is driving me insane because I feel like there's really no hair in it. So I just took some from another strand and we're just going to keep braiding. Now y'all, I am not a professional. This is my hair. But I do what I can. You know, with the budget I be working with. And I decided to put braids in my hair because that was a little cheap hairstyle for me. You know? So yeah. What was that? Y'all heard that click right. I ain't going crazy. No, you going crazy. You won't see me standing in a doorway with my back to you. And then I'm going to just float at you. Y'all, what's that show called on Netflix? The Haunting of what? Hill House. Of Hill House. He has me watching the show with him. Let me tell y'all what happened yesterday. I know he was tired from playing from football Saturday, but... He was about to get towed up, because I don't play that. Like, I'm sitting here thinking, like, call CJ one moment. He down all the way downstairs in the basement while I'm in the kitchen, right? Then he slowly comes upstairs, and I'm just like, I saw somebody, but I didn't know who it was. You was all the way up here. Was I? Talking about you need a roll of toilet paper. <laughs> y'all, I, I, I was on the toilet, I ain't gonna even lie. Alright, y'all, so when you get towards the end of the braid, all you're gonna do is take just like a long strand you need me to, what you need to see it yeah whatever you're planning on telling them about so you're just gonna kind of tie it take this end and just tie it off and I'll show y'all again on the next one I do but that's it and I just tie it off and I am gonna possibly go ahead and dip this in water so that's what I did with the rest of my hair so now we're gonna go on to this one and this one's kind of done already. Uh, can you pass me the purple hair and then that little black piece? I'm also going to put some purple in the back with the other one. Because it just wouldn't look right if I did a lopsided. So we're just going to take a little piece. Oh God, I'm trying to get this here. Purple. Take that. Thank you, love. And then this is the piece that came from the other braid. But I don't feel it needs to waste it. So we're just going to blend it in. Alright, I'm going to turn around for y'all so y'all can see what I'm doing, so we won't be confused. And this braid, y'all, actually did mess up, and I was like, you know what, it's tutorial time. So, I just kind of take it, and y'all, I did put grease on this side, I just don't see the need in showing y'all one more time. So, what you're going to put on your hair? Now, I do take a little bit. So, what were you saying? Back to my previous, y'all. Sorry, I'm a camera cut off on me. So I put a little bit of jam on my actual hair. And I'm just going to keep braiding to a certain point. So with this hair, because my hair is sometimes thick in the back, more towards the ends, I'm going to go ahead and start separating it. And so this is kind of what I do. So I'm not saying that you have to do it this way. You can choose to do it how you choose to do it. This is just the way I do it. And it works for me. Am I good, babe? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to keep braiding down, but I don't like the way the chunkiness is on the braid with one of the strands. So I'm going to pull from another strand. Am I good? Mm -hmm. I was trying to make sure they could see. And I'm just going to keep braiding down. And so... Here we go. To steal some hair from another strand. And so here we go. And I'm going to slowly turn around for y'all. And I'm just going to keep braiding it all the way down. Until so I get where I want it to get to. Now y'all, I did buy all the same length of hair. I tried to stay in the range. Um... I, for some odd reason, did not take a picture of the packs of hair that I bought, but that's okay. I'm just going to look it up and put everything down in the description box below for everyone. But, as you can see, um, and FYI, y'all, I do not, but I don't like burning my ends anymore. Um, and I don't really feel the necessity to burn the excess hair off of a braid. Because I, I just don't, I don't, I don't. I just continue to braid and steal hair from other strands, but make sure when you do braid, if you want a nice, clean braid, take your time. 
do this on a day you ain't got nothing to do. Because if you were picky like me, this is what happens. And in total, this whole hairstyle took me from, because I did mine Sunday morning. I started at, I believe, 10, 10.30 and didn't finish until like 1, 1.30, 2 o'clock. So, and because I have a small head, it just didn't take too much time. First, when I go to get my hair done or if I do my hair on my own, it don't take too much time. Like, I'm like, cool, I got a small head, I can percolate it. And the prices be cheaper when you got a smaller head. Not saying that when you have a bigger head, the prices be outrageous, but sometimes they do. But, yeah. What's wrong? Mm. Okay. So, y'all. And I'm messing up because I'm talking and trying to do this at the same dang time. So. And, y'all, if y'all do want um, me to show you how I do keep up the maintenance, because I do install my own box braids from time to time when I just don't feel like going the extra mile to have someone else do it for me, which is fine. Um, Alright, so I wanted y'all to see the ending one more time before I close out this video the correct way, you know. And if you haven't, check out the latest video from five days ago, I believe. It's a workout video. It has my bestie in it, Aaron Cook. Give him a shout out. He's on Snapchat. Looking for a girlfriend. I'm just joking. And not put him out there on front the street. Um, but, oh, I didn't show y'all how to tie out the end, Lord. But you got it. Got You're slacking. I know, slacking. But I just took a small piece from one of the strands, wrapped it around my index finger, and then whatever hair comes out on this part, pull it through and it should be able to pull it down. But this is it. I'm going to go ahead and show y'all the length of my, the box braids that I did. Um, I don't really do too many styles right now. Uh, my hair is not tender. I'm not tender headed at all. My mama made sure of that. But this is the style. I did a middle part because I like middle parts, but this is the style. And it's got blue, or blue, Lord, can't color Now you color by. Yeah, no. It's got purple bits of color in it. But, yeah, I like it. But, yeah, this is it, y'all. This is what it is. And I just normally put it up in a ponytail. Please check me out. Sorry, I'm trying to reach for a ponytail holder. At Arnella J is the channel name. Please like, comment, and subscribe. More videos to be coming up and out. Love y'all. Bye.